Hello, I'm Lieutenant Kevin Nancy of the Michigan State Police. The governor has asked me to tell you about his new traffic safety initiative called Stop, Then Go. As a traffic patrol officer for over 20 years, I have investigated crashes that were the result of drivers failing to obey traffic control devices. Often, when I perform a traffic stop for a stop sign or red light violation, the driver will inform me that he or she, quote, slowed down, unquote. Let me ask you, driver, if I were to begin striking you about the head and neck area with my tactical defense baton, would you want me to stop or slow down? So remember, when it comes to stop signs and red lights, stop, then go. From Bad Monkey Studios in beautiful Amish country, heard throughout these fabulous United States and around the globe on the World Wide Web, this is The B Team with Corey and Jim. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good on the uh, stories. So how was Irish Day? St. Patrick's Day was good, man. I did. Uh, I knocked out. Well, I'm disappointed in myself a little bit. I'm kind yeah. of proud of myself in one way. But I watched most <clears throat> of the Leprechaun movies. I told you I was gonna watch. Yeah. I got I got five out of six. Five out of six. And I did it because uh, I went on Amazon Prime. You have a little, you know, the you can uh, stream videos and stuff. Yeah. Well. You could you had to rent these. So, but but here's the caveat: I didn't want to pay three ninety nine per rental. So oh. what I did was I signed up for the free week of stars. Yeah, got all those for free. Canceled it, <laughs> and then I thought because they 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 boned me or they caught on at the end though because I couldn't watch the sixth one. They're like, oh, you gotta pay for that. Oh and yeah, I was like, come on, man. Yeah, I've got through five of them. And you're not going to give me this one? Well, they eventually caught Bernie Madoff, too. So, you know. I, he was was Aniston in the Madoff. first one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First yeah. movie ever. Yeah, yeah. She never mentions it. Nothing no, wrong there. there. But, no. <laughs> no. But look, Warwick Davis, he's in every one of them, right? He's yeah, the he, leprechaun yeah, he in leprechaun, every one. Yeah. Yeah. Love that guy. He's the best. But, he's man, best. for as, as far as uh, Irish movies or leprechaun movies <laughs> or St. Patrick's Day movies. <laughs> They're the best. The, 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 the very best one is... Uh, Darby O'Gill and Little People. No, it's not. We watched it. It really is. I love it so much, man. <clears throat> it's so low tech. And so, you know, because they use forced perspective. Yes. On that. So yeah. they use the, yeah. they, they have the actor standing here and the other actor will stand real far. He's down, he's in yeah. the same room, but he's way down at the end of the room. Mm -hmm. So he looks small. Yeah. So, all, I mean, I love that's it. cool. That, I absolutely all. love it. It's so good. It's like Elf. Do you have any traditions uh, for St. Patty's, like any type of thing you drink or? No, no. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Uh, I eat the little Reuben, though, the corned beef, man, or something like that, or yeah. some kind of. Uh, I dabble. It's yeah, usually Guinness it, for me. Oh, I, yeah. But not this year. I went uh, with Strongbow. And I'm not normally, you know, I'm not a citrus alcohol guy, but um, I'd heard an Irishman talk about it on the radio. and. Uh, he said that, according to him, Guinness isn't really the thing over there. You gotta say Real, it. You gotta say it in the Irish, bro. They <laughs> have but uh, it's clarity. Uh, <laughs> but it's uh, it's cider. It's hard cider. Over yeah, there. It, that's that's pretty that's good. Thing. That's I, yeah. I it tried it. It's great. Good choice. Yeah, strong yes. pretty solid. It's good. Yeah, yeah. And it'll get you where you need. If you're there, go. you always hear. Let's go for a cider, a pint of cider. Over, front, yeah. really, Guinness. Yeah. You See, would, I'd never I'd heard assume, that. Yeah, I'd assume Guinness. Yeah. That's odd. <clears throat> because Guinness is coming out with all kinds of stuff now, man. It seems like as soon as I stopped drinking, that's when all the good <laughs> yeah, stuff came good out. Stuff. I was like, are you kidding me? Oh, the extra <laughs> stout is my favorite beer. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> Grandpa's whatever, <laughs> root beer, <laughs> all that yeah. stuff, man. Grandpa's root beer. <laughs> whatever it is. I don't know. 
don't know what it's called. I've never had it. Nutty fudge knuckle lager. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> it's the perfect drink. Yeah. All these microbreweries, man, and all the all those yeah, every flavors. Yeah. I just, no. Yeah, I want mine to taste just like bark on a tree or, or <laughs> yeah. wheat. Or yeah. Something. yeah. Not, just, you know, they'll put anything in mine, man. Yeah. There's one that drives me up a wall. I don't remember which one it is, but the guy talks about how he had to go to every bar where they serve this across the United States and teach them how to put a, an orange wedge on the side of the glass to do it just right. Oh, you know, yeah. Moon, yeah. Fl- yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, it. brother. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. I can slice an orange <laughs> and put it on the side of a glass. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> that's your Pepsi Max. We are the B team. That's I'm right. Jim. Everyone man knows sitting me. across Everyone from me is knows Corey. Me. And the third voice you're hearing is comedian Bill G. He's back with us, making a visit here to the studio. Hello, fellas. Uh, thanks for having me again. It's been a while. Thanks for being here again. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. It's the welcome. first time didn't scare you. No, few people come back to Bad Monkey twice. Yeah, this is the only return guest. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> yeah. So far. To date. <laughs> The whitey people are still thinking we've killed him and buried him. <laughs> Just use his voice to chop it up and edit it together. Like, No, we didn't really chop anything up. <clears throat> <laughs> Nothing got chopped. What about you? How was your uh, St. Paddy's Day? Was it solid? Good. Yeah, good, good stuff. Yeah, well, when every day is like Thanksgiving. <laughs> I told Anna that the other day. I said, you know what might help me uh, lose some weight, cut back a little bit, get that blood pressure down a little bit? Not treating every single day like it's Thanksgiving. Every single meal like it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> You're not kidding. I mean, and, and when Thanksgiving does come around, you do, it, it's just another day. It's yeah. just different yeah. food, probably healthier. <laughs> yeah. We're actually having turkey instead of sausage. But, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, 15,000 calories is 15,000 calories. <laughs> no matter how you slice it, you know. I was running through some news stories. And there's some good ones. Going. We there actually do have ones. a couple of good stories. The first one is out of St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. And this one has to do with turtles. I know you love your animals, Corey. Oh, I, I love my turtle meat soup. You do. You know, <laughs> you, you know what? I, I think I've told you this story before, but I don't think I've told it on uh, on the air. Uh, I know a guy who I nearly got into a fist fight with <laughs> because he told me that there are eight different kinds of meat in a turtle. <laughs> and, and I said, I said, well, you know, Clevis or, or what I'm not going to say his real name, um, but Clevis will do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said, you know, it, it's all, it's turtle, you know, there, <laughs> yeah, it, it one might meat. taste, I, said, I don't know. I've not had turtle. So it, it might, you know, one part of it might taste like chicken. The other part might taste like prime rib mm-hmm. and another part might taste like fish, but it's all turtle. It's all turtle meat. It's, and <laughs> he was like, no, no, there are eight different kinds of meat in a turtle. Like so. a turducken. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like, like that. Like a natural turducken. Better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's become a, Na- it's well, nature's well, turducken. There it's it is. turtle is. It's oh. extra kind of stupid right there. <laughs> a, Canad- a Canadian man caught smuggling nearly 40 turtles in his pants has been fined $2,578 and placed on probation for two years. Dong Yan, or in... Uh, Chinese that in Chinese that means turtle fucker <laughs> was convicted this month of illegally importing reptiles during an inspection at the Niagara border crossing on June 2014 Canadian border officials discovered 38 turtles strapped to Yan's legs <laughs> Yan is also prohibited from owning turtles and tortoises for 10 years <laughs> got a ban. Right. How, are you, how are you policing that oh somebody <laughs> is <laughs> Trust me. That's just Turtle Man, that guy from Louisiana. He just follows him around everywhere. He's like a shadow. He's like, touch a turtle. Turtle. See what happens. I have to imagine. I just want to see Turtle Man spell turtle. Dude, I have to imagine these things had to be like not bitey because I feel like he should have gotten bitten somewhere in there. And and small, too. They had and to be I think small, a turtles. Yeah. I think a, a turtle is the size of turtles, a baseball glove. <laughs> yeah, um, there's no way he's he's shoving 38 box turtles. In his pants. <laughs> That's in my mind. Yeah. what he did, which yeah. he'd have to be a pretty big fella to do that, I'd imagine. But he had a turtle poking out, or uh, he was wearing some parachute the pants donger. like MC Hammer. <laughs> the donger. <laughs> he, <laughs> officials say live specimens are often sought for use in the pet 
and food trade. Mm. Emphasis on food. There you go. Uh, they were all going to turtle meat soup right there. But Every I tell you one. what, uh, the story, <clears throat> I, I, the story is great on its own. There's no doubt. It is. But what amazes me the most about this story is that he was convicted this month. Okay. Yeah. 2016. He was arrested in 2014. It took two years. That's high speed to justice. Get this right guy there. prosecuted when they caught him with the turtles strapped to his legs. Yeah. Not like not a heavy investigative no. uh, effort here. No. Because <laughs> nice you know guys were taking pictures. Oh, those, yeah. those border guys were like, oh, all oh, those turtles that. taped to his legs. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. That's going in the personal collection, man. That's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Canada, man. I'm telling you. If there's ever been a country that needed some terrorism, that's the one. Easy Holy one. crap. I just out of the room. Now, wow. now we're on the watch list. Holy. Thanks for killing any, any dreams I had of flying anywhere this year. <laughs> Jesus. Man, is there anything that you would take a chance on bringing into the country, a chance of going to prison for? Is there anything at all? Money? <laughs> no. To buy my way out of prison? Because, <laughs> you know, rich people don't go to jail yeah. or oh, yeah, prison unless they do something egregious like touch a kid, you know? Yeah. But if they're if they're super billionaires, no. It, you just, what's my fine? Here. That's your, that's your get out of jail free card is money. <laughs> so it's not for free. Yeah, well, not me. I'm not going back. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but I'm not. Pass. I'm not pushing that broom anymore. <laughs> but no, this is tough. I mean, this is just their way. You know, the Canadians of uh, curbing their hypocrisy because these are still people that eat seals. So <laughs> yeah, you know, it takes two years to bring him to justice, and and then they get bitchy about it, and they won't even let the guy own a turtle or a tortoise. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's right. not, yeah, it's put not one like under a, a heat light and let it go. Big deal. <laughs> well, so what? Yeah. You ain't gonna eat it. Yeah. Donger ain't gonna eat it. He just wanted to make some cash. Come on. And how much? Realistically, too, how much money is he gonna make off of thirty-eight turtles? Yeah, I gotta feel like someone's gonna be like, if they want him as pets, they be like, I'll give you a couple bucks. <laughs> I can go yeah. find a turtle. Yeah, <laughs> next to a lake for free. So I think we'll have to be these exactly. have to be some rare just turtles. Go grab one, you know. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's, it, I don't think the mafia was back in this thing. No, no. no. The donger, the donger, I think was a solo <laughs> yeah. uh, operator in this yeah. one. I like a turtle. <laughs> Easy, oh, man. You're shunning ten so, percent wow. of our uh, listeners right now. Terrorism and racism in what three minutes? God, <laughs> you late for the clan rally, <laughs> man. Oh man, I came in uh, expecting a family <laughs> show today, wow. and then you hit me with this. Well, if we got all the uh, meat off that turtle bone, mm. I'm going to move on to the next story. Okay. That is, uh, there's a teenage boy from Russia. His name's Ruslan Shedrin. <laughs> like Excedrin. <laughs> yeah, but with a lot of sh in it. <laughs> uh, he's a teenage gamer from Russia. He's 16. He's won a bizarre prize for being the 100,000th visitor to a website that sells in-game weapons and gear. He is being rewarded with a month-long stay at a Moscow hotel in the company of an X-rated film star. Oh, that's incredible. Huh. That's incredible. This kid has oh, never even seen a real boob in his life, no. and he's about to get the best education <laughs> in this Can next you month. you imagine? Oh. He's not, and it's not just like a one, it's not like... A, a, a night? No. Or a weekend? It's a month. <laughs> that's how sm 30 days. That's incredible, man. But, uh, you know. Good for him. Good <laughs> for him, man. How smart is that? Because it's not just for a week, which could be her week, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a month long. So yeah. that can't be an excuse, you know. Yeah. Oh, the Ruskies, man. <laughs> Doing it right. That's how we should do it over here. But too many fat wives decide to uh, be angry about things like that. <laughs> Like video games, huh? Oh. Whoever, whoever said that won't amount to anything. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. I just want a whore, okay? <laughs> By buying some I game mean. gear. I the unusual contest was held in celebration of Defender of the Fatherland Day, yeah. a Russian holiday held every year like on February 23rd. Mm. Young Ruslan turned out to be the 100,000th person to visit the website that day. Hitting the jackpot. Yeah. At first, I did not believe it. But when I realized that this is true, I thanked the site, he said. As he should have. I am overjoyed, and my friends are also happy for me. Uh -huh. 
Although there is some envy. Sure. Well, yeah. Yeah. Are you now, kidding me? Have we looked up this chick? Yes. Oh, we have. Yep. What's the, I did. What's the go? What's yeah. the, what's the uh, word? The stats. Here? Yeah. Yeah. What do we got? She's getting it done. Yeah. Yeah. Looking all right. Yep. All right. Yeah. She's getting it done. Take your word for it. This uh. is fi- this is adult film star. This isn't fluffer. Okay. This isn't <laughs> this the which would up. be fine. No. For Peter North. No. Oh man. Wow. Welcome to the nineties, bro. You like to come on and come on. You don't you don't just high step a legend. Should I said should I throw should have thrown out Ron Jerry? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which consequently is the best nickname ever for a porn star. Speaking of turtles. <laughs> uh. Oh, this was, shit. Bill was just reminding me before we got started today that uh, he used to call me the silverback. <laughs> yeah. So he's built like he's built exactly like one. And he's strong. I was just saying, man, you're built just like a silverback. Because I was telling him, we were talking about, you know, weight and this and that. And I just told him, I said, Jim, really? And it's probably because of, you know, my size. I never looked at Jim as obese or, you know, really overweight or anything like that. I just thought he's a big freaking strong dude he's the only guy i've ever seen uh lift over 500 pounds do you know 500 pound bench press and he's got that but he's dude is built just like a silverback man exactly walks if around on his knuckles he too. does he's got just. that got that sway in his back <laughs> yeah. i'll spin around i'll spin around and present <laughs> yeah. i'm just throwing his shit at you <laughs> Oh my goodness! Well, uh, old Ruslan, mm. his family, however, is furious. They believe oh, he's boy. already wasted too much time on the video games, yeah, okay. and this prize okay. will now be another colossal waste of his time. I am totally against it," said his mother. "Man, I wish I could do it." A, a, <laughs> man, is it- I am totally. Against- I know I can't. Even, <laughs> I, I don't even. I don't even have it. I'm totally against it," said his mother, Vera Shedrin. He has exams. <laughs> Right. What do you mean a month with a porn star? Even a week is too much. They should just give him a hundred thousand rubles instead. We would be happy with that. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure you would. But yeah. Ruslan seems unaffected by his family's concerns. He isn't even considering passing up the chance to spend an entire month with the beautiful Ekaterina Makarova. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. He says I saw her and I liked everything she has got good sizes. <laughs> And so on. I am looking forward to our meeting so much. I'm very happy, the 16-year-old told Life 16? Yeah. 16. Oi. Yeah. You got that Born right, of the sister. ball game over in Russia, baby. <laughs> yeah. Holy hell, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, can you imagine a 16-year-old kid with a porn star? Somebody. That's like that's throwing a hot dog down a well. Somebody's oh, getting pregnant. Oh, <laughs> <family. laughs> Him. <laughs> She's going to school him up. Yes, she is. For her part, the adult film actress wants to keep her end of the deal. And although she has yet to meet Ruslan, she said he is at a good age to be independent. But she doesn't want to anger Ruslan's parents. If they won't allow the boy to live with her at a hotel for a month, Ekaterina has offered to meet him every day after school. Dude, that's what that's the one I would take. I would t- I'd have her picking me up. Oh, yeah. Every day, right out front of the school. Mm. Yeah. Every yeah, day. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Just yeah, walking in the car, start mm-hmm. taking your pants off. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Looking back at your road, friends. For the road handy, Jay. <laughs> 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 she'll, be, she'll, she'll be driving, so, you know, she can. It's got to stop there. How do you think she is? Do you think she's like one of these broads over here who, you know, just constantly, you know, on the phone, not paying any attention to him, not really give, you know. Coming do, through with it. Do you think do you a think sixteen she, year old gives a shit? <laughs> uh, he does. She can look at that phone all day. That's not the part he's concerned yeah, about. Yeah. Nothing yeah, nothing from the neck up. Yeah. Or her hands. He doesn't need any of that involved. A month. Oh my god. A eyes. month. Yeah. yeah that's and crazy. I would tell. That is it crazy. is crazy. Uh, it's- He's 16, man. His balls haven't even dropped yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, they're not saggy or anything. Still no. just no. Just there. <laughs> just, they're not here. No. They're not dragging. No. Man, I, 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 I'll tell you. Yeah. Something about the balls dropping, okay? Six months ago, I'm not kidding you. This is something recent. <laughs> Six months ago, I'm good. I'm tight, you know. But the old age just 
has hit me, man. And it's to the point now, I got to reach down and move my nuts out of the way before <laughs> I sit down. Every time. I got to watch myself carefully on the toilet no, seat. It's tr- yeah. When I, I'm in bed and I roll over, <laughs> I'm laying on my side. I have to physically reach and pull my nuts out from be- <laughs> between my thighs. Because it's like a, I have a cushion in between there and it hurts my back. So I have to move my nuts. And it's awful. It's awful. I'm telling you, it watch yourself. I'm 44, awful. man. Yeah. And six months ago, I was fine. <laughs> now they're all over the place. And when summer comes, I do. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Yeah. I'm going to have so, to you've got, do something. I've got a couple of suggestions. One, Botox. <laughs> Two, just get the smooth balls and tighten it up. You know, <laughs> see if they can sew it back up a little. There, you know what? There Rat has poison. to be. There has to be a tightening process. I'm sure there is. There has to be. But when you're in the cold, do you have issues when it's cold? I mean, there's lots yes. of extra skin. <laughs> yeah, it's been cold all winter. Yeah, as it affects. That's why I'm waiting. No. That's why I'm waiting until this uh, heat hits, man. I don't know. We're talking halfway to the knees. Yeah, well, it's gonna I, be awful. What? I really had a situation like that, and one of my little nine to five is one of a a, a, a a younger person. I worked at this place where they had to deal with yep. older folks. They were uh, DD. Just say it. That used to be R D D. it. You gotta refrain. And and there's there's an old guy. He was like 92 years old. I'm not joking. And he had been at this place. He's he's like the oldest resident at this place. What? The M R D D. They live as long as humans. All right. Whatever you say. You work there. I didn't. So. Oh, it's humans. He was. So the, they were taking care of him, okay? Mm-hmm. I, I, I won't say why I was at this place. I, I won't say. Don't uh, even ask I me. know why you were there. Yep. Perf. So, mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm, I'm at balls. this place, and, and there's like a, there's like a day room, I guess you call it, and there's, there's people that are helping all, you know, all the, uh, the, the, the clients, I guess I'll call them. There you go. And, uh, and, and this old fella, they were helping him take a, a bath, and he was doing what they call a sits bath. Okay, what? it's where What's yeah, it's, like, it's yeah. a little it's a little chair you sit yeah. on uh-huh. that's got water and stuff in it that you well, he decided he was gonna stand up during his sits bath. Uh, now the water must have been hot. Okay. Because he stood up and I'm talking to a fella, right? I'm I'm talking to a guy, and and I just see this out of the corner of my eye. Mm. I just so I'm looking over, so then I I, I couldn't tell you he's, what this guy he's was talking, talking about. to you. Got, yeah. wah, 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 wah. It, that's all I'm hearing from him, and so I'm just mm-hmm. like glancing out of the corner of my eye at what's going on with this old fella as he stands up, and as he's standing, I see something like between his legs. I'm like, what in the world is that? What is going on? And he, he continues to stand and stand, and it doesn't move. It just get, keeps getting longer and longer. And longer, and he stood fully up. Okay, yeah, fully erect. He stood up, and his balls were still <laughs> down in that sits bath. Are you water? Sure? I am not joking. There had to have been two and a half feet of God. ball. Dang. I am not joking. That's a big throw. two and a half feet feet of ball between his the the taint area. The taintal, yeah, and, and and that and and where they no, ended dude, up at the I can't bottom. do it. I can't. Do <laughs> I'm it. telling I, you, I, right I won't now. do it. I gotta go get it tightened up. I got it something. Nick I mean, right now, horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my but, god. Yeah. Yeah. Just smell that's like my stuff. Didn't it? Yeah. So I don't know if there's something they can do to tighten that up, like there's a face to it. Feet of nerve and half. <laughs> oh man. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Catching a tennis ball. Well, listen, uh, this has all been fun, but we got to take a quick break and we will be right back. Hi, this is author Emma Woods. When I have an hour to burn, I listen to the B team with Corey and Jim. Hey, y'all. I'm Rutherford Thurberson III. Do you like gin? Hell, me too. I come from a family of distillers who came over with the pilgrims. Now, I don't know if they were on the Tito, the Squanto, or the Hanna-Barbera, but I do know they brought with them the recipe for the world's finest gin. 
Thurbersons. It's Stone Age. Because why does everything have to be so new? Hey, boys. What's the ETA on that grilly chi? This segment is brought to you by Stuffed with Love Taxidermy. No pet too small. Give us a call. Ask about our goldfish and turtle discount. That's Stuffed with Love Taxidermy. Check out our website, fluffyforever.com. And we're back. Yeah, man, that's you know, something I'm not looking forward to. But ageism? No, no, no. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> Flying a boot everywhere. Yeah. You know. And that's, <clears throat> yeah, that's just one. I don't know. It's just probably inevitable as far as it happening. But, yeah, there's got to yeah, be. Yeah, you're male as I'm, long yeah. as you've got them. And I'm sure there, I, there's got to be a thing that either somebody's invented or is working on to tighten that up, get that all sucked back in, man, because that's an inconvenience. Yeah. You know. And if there's something that we're doing that's causing it, I want to know. Yeah, if I can prevent it, for mm-hmm. sure, let me know. <laughs> well, Call dude, brother. I, you know. I wouldn't uh, recommend anybody grow. Uh, if you don't have to turn forty, don't. Nice. Okay. No, Thirty nine. No. Yeah, just stay. There. Just good dude. I'll, no. No, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you where we're going with this, Corey. We're moving into what is going to be referred to as a young guy intervention. Okay. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's a very very important because I here I am. I'm forty four. Jim's uh, slightly older than I am. A lot has changed in my life over the last 10, 15 years. And some advice that nobody has ever, ever wanted to listen to me and believe me or, or take this in. I told my wife the same thing. I, I said, once you, of course, uh, enjoy what's left of your 20s. I'm not kidding. Every day. Because when the 30s get here, and this was the bit of advice that I told her, when the 30s get here, the 30s race past, man. Yeah. You turn 30 and you blink your eyes, you're 34, 37, and the 30s move quick. And I don't remember any of my birthdays she, in my 30. She was just like, what are you telling me all this? I got 17 years before I turn 30. Yeah. But, <laughs> I, <laughs> but the 40s, the 40s go quicker. The 40s go faster, man. <laughs> But I'm just I'm just telling you that every minute of the day, just enjoy it because it goes quick. It does. Yeah, it does. I look at you, I look at you, and you know, in your later twenties, man. And oh my goodness. Yeah. When I was there, I was running every day. I didn't look yeah. like this. Great job. Just you know, everybody getting along. A lot of family members still here. Yeah. Um, but it, it really, I'm just telling you goes by quick. Enjoy it, man. And do uh, whatever enters your mind as long as it's legal. <laughs> do it. Do it. Yeah. Sure. sure. And I always say that, too. That That's part of the advice I give to young people, too, is uh, you're not going to regret when you're out when you're out there on the on your back porch, sitting in your rocking chair, rocking, watching the sun go down. You're not going to regret the things you did. You're going to regret the things you didn't do. No, I do. I've always said that. And I and I do. I do right now. I'm not even on the porch yet. I'm not even rocking the chair. And I I regret a lot of things I didn't do. That's Yeah, it's all those uh, regrets that you have from the past. Just those everyday life things, but also the perverted things, man. Because you're going to, there's going to be a day, believe it or not. You're not feeling any pain right now. I don't even know if you get cold. But... <laughs> Uh, I didn't wear a jacket <laughs> until my 18th birthday, <laughs> but just to, and you're going to, there's going to be a day where you go, Oh my God, when I, I, I'm sore. When I get out of bed, I'm sore. This hurts. That hurts. But do every perverted thing you can think about man. <laughs> do, eh, because you, you will, there'll be a day when you're too tired yeah. or you'll, you'll say, yeah, later I will do that later. Yeah. Be spontaneous right now, right now. But, um, definitely. Another thing that goes along with that is enjoy your porn. Uh, yeah. Okay. That because does go along with noted. that. It does yeah. go along with that, yeah. Because your taste will change uh, the older that you get from where you're at now and what you look at <laughs> compared to being where I am in my mid-40s. I got some examples for you if you'd like to know. <laughs> oh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you a list here, a short list of... 
the videos, the name of, of the videos, <clears throat> 10 years ago. I'll give you the one that I, I watched 10 years ago. And then I'll give you the the names, the titles of what I listen to or what I watch now. And there's a little bit of a difference between then and now. So. Well, they're not grainy now. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Everything's high def. Yeah, they you can see all those STDs <laughs> just <laughs> blossoming. <laughs> those 70s porns you could almost smell. Yeah. Well, yeah, the big quick, mustaches quick, and the, quick, mm, all look like yeah. Gabe Kaplan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a big bush. <laughs> <laughs> but 10 years ago, here, here's, a, here's an example. 10 years ago. <laughs> he was talking about the women. <laughs> 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 and not their faces. <laughs> in, years, in England, we call those growler. Growler? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. In England, you call a, a a lady who's not well manicured. A furry lass. Down south. If yeah, you you, you, the, those are called a growler. Whoa. <laughs> yes, that's true. But anyway. Beautiful. I'm sorry. No, sorry. that's okay, I, I man. I sidebarred your story. My first Go. one. My <clears throat> first one. This is a video title that I watched 10 years ago. Big Tit Blonde Cheerleaders Volumes <laughs> 1 through 6. Okay. <laughs> now. <laughs> now, lactating Latina rides dirty old man. <laughs> okay. That's, that's just an example of who I was and who I am now. <laughs> example two. It's like wine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Always gets better with age. <laughs> The example two, 10 years ago, <laughs> my video selection would be giant boobs extravaganza. Now, obese grandpa, deep dicks, mature milk. <laughs> 10 years ago, <laughs> huge tits, volume 41. You see, you see where I'm at. You see yeah, I'm noticing a okay. theme. Yeah. Now... <laughs> Busty nurse gags on old wrinkly hog. <laughs> Ten years ago, another video selection. Blonde bombshell threesome. Now, hairy fat guy short strikes Asian milf. <laughs> and then my last one for you. In case you haven't quite gotten it, which I think you have, but here we go. Here's the bonus. <laughs> bonus round. Thick Dick versus Cleavage Queen, the rematch. <laughs> and now. <laughs> This is just Ooh. recently. Ooh. Grandpa Hammer's <laughs> Russian meat box. Now, what's the ratings on those? Oh. <laughs> Is that oh. something my family could enjoy? Yeah. Any of those? Yeah. Any, any type of short stroking would <laughs> fit right in with the fams. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that's what it is. It used to be I was looking, oh, you know, God. when I was your age, I'm looking at at the woman as like, that's, that's what I want. That's my idea of just, you know, uh, total uh, sex slave or whatever you want to call it. But now it's, I want to identify with the dude so I feel better about myself. So I look at <laughs> just these nasty old, yeah. wrinkly, pasty white fat guys. Oh. And, and and believe it or not, my, my, my porn choices really haven't changed over the years. It's, it's still all, it's still all big tits and, mm -hmm. and, and Catholic schoolgirl uniforms. Yeah. Here, that's it from, from yeah. day one. Mm -hmm. We're still there. <laughs> I usually still, that. I still um, do a search engine with the old uh, French maid too. <laughs> oh man, a French maid. The, the movie a Clue, a... <laughs> the movie Clue and Colleen Camp. Yeah. It was in one of the police academies, I believe. Yeah. Um, 
she was the French maid in the movie Clue with Martin Maul and all of them. Really? And, oh, boy, man. Oh, yeah. She was right down my alley. But what, Not was anymore. she a porn star? Any recent. No, no, she's an actress. Oh. But um, if uh, you check her out now, you know. No, thanks. She's got well, a, yeah. a Tina, or not Tina Turner, but Kathleen Turner thing. Really? Yeah. She looks like a truck driver. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> really? She might be, as a matter of fact. <laughs> well, plus, I mean, gravity plays hell with you when you're. I mean, when you get she, older. Yeah. When she. Yeah. We have it with the with the nuts. Yeah. They have it with the uh, breasticles, know, the upper deck breasticles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought I just saw her today before I left here. There was a movie. It was called. Uh, it looked older, like it was maybe in the early 80s, just before I started out, out here to the studio. Um, it's called Maniac. I guess uh, from the synopsis of it, the guy, he had a hard time uh, growing up. You know, he was abused or whatever, and now he's murdering women. And he uses their heads. He puts them on mannequins. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I I saw it. It came on. I thought Colleen was in it. This, there's a girl that's in it. Looks just like her. Mm. I haven't looked up the facts to see if it was her, but she had a British accent. Colleen's not British, wow. and I don't know if she could pull that off real well. But I don't know. That's unfair. She had that stretch. That's, yeah, that's unfair. I mean, she yeah. she may. She's an actress. Sure, she's but got anyway. some range. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, well, whew. I want to. Uh, if you if you're done with that, if you're done with the yeah, I'm done with my list. Glory <laughs> hole ninety one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. I wanted to introduce a new segment today. This this goes right on along with uh, with aging and and uh, you know testicles dropping to the floor and all that. Well, they say the one of the first things to go is your hearing, your your vision, that yeah. sort of thing. Huh. And I think I'm I'm uh, getting into that. Yeah. Part of my that that stage of life, because my hearing isn't quite what it used to be. Huh? Ah, ah, no shit. way! No way! That's coming at you hot. Good late. night, That's everybody. That's a hot late night take right there, baby. <laughs> yeah, it is. Huh? Yeah, it is. You take that one home to your kids. <laughs> that was worth turning the lights on for right there. Yeah. If you get nothing else uh-huh. out of this show, you just had to but, wait thirty five minutes to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> we save the good stuff for later in the show. <laughs> But the uh, new segment is called, What Did Jimmy Hear? What did Jimmy hear? Okay, I'm tracking. Okay. This is uh, a segment where I tell you and Bill something that I thought I heard, and then you guys try to guess what I really heard. Okay. You guys follow? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. This week, uh, this is from a local radio commercial I heard <clears throat> yesterday, as a matter of fact. All right. What I thought... Now, this, this was a... Um, a construction tool company yeah. commercial. All right. And it was from a local radio spot, and I just caught the tail end of it, and it's because my attention was drawn to it because these are the words I thought I heard. Members put thick ice on beards. Mm-hmm. That is what I thought I heard. Members put thick ice on beards. Okay. Let's put 10 seconds on the clock. I don't know. This is a tough game already. I don't know if I like it. It's not easy enough. Wow. Okay. It's from a construction tool company. Yeah, that's where you got me. That's where you got me because I thought that I may know, but until you said that, because mine doesn't make sense. Members put thick ice on beards is what I thought I heard. Okay. Hmm. For con- and this is a construction it's construction company. tool company. Construction tool. Yeah, they company. sell tools. Uh, for the construction mm. biz. Members put thick ice on beards. Any guesses? Mm. I got I got nothing right now. I've had so much aspartame, dude. I have <laughs> no idea who you are. <laughs> um, I was going to say, I was going to, uh, before the construction tools, I thought maybe it was there may be thick ice on roads, but that doesn't really make sense either since it was, wasn't that cold. No. Nope. Last week. Members put thick ice on beards. I got nothing. Okay. I got nothing. What I thought I heard was members put thick ice on beards. Yeah. What I actually heard was remember to protect your eyes and ears. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. Wow. Right. Yeah. I got you. Okay. A little off on your end. A little off. And that closes our segment called What 
did Jimmy here. Mm. That's it? I thought you'd have more. Nope. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Do you happen to have a Stevie Ray fact of the day for us? Well, wouldn't you like to know? I would love to know. Wouldn't you like to know? I do have a Stevie Ray fact of the day for you today. Do you know? Stevie Ray fact of the day. Well, you, you keep with that Irish thing, huh? <laughs> I am. Uh, yeah, uh, Stevie Ray, or SRV, as uh, we like to call him, is a uh, winner of six, count them, six Grammy Awards. That's wow. the music one. Mm. That's the music one. Okay. And ten, yeah, the big one zero Austin Music Awards, which I didn't even know was a thing. Oh yeah, um, but yeah. he he has an egot, and so but anyway, that's again, just, let's tell everybody what the egot is. Because you're so proud that you know that. I'm proud like, that you know that. He got taught me yeah. something last, last Emmy, show. Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Who's oh, done it? Got. Who is Goldberg? Done it? I know Whoopi's done it. Whoopi Goldberg is done that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. There's like I six keep, people. I keep There's like saying Jackman. <laughs> But I don't think he's I got feel an like Academy he, Award. I feel like he's on his way. I don't think he's got the Tony yet, but no. he's going to get it. It's Hugh Jackman, I mean. The Come Emmy? On. I don't know. He the has Oscar? A, yeah. Grammy? The Grammy? Tony. The Tony. Yeah. And that's for, uh, people don't know about Tony, that's for the uh, stage acting, like uh, uh, Broadway. Broadway. That's your gaze. Wow, Tony. It, wh- wait. Tom and Huff. What? You got, got. I'm just saying. Terrorizers? The Canadians? And the Canadians today. Hmm? Sorry, I don't mean to be spreading all the hate. You're but... spreading an awful lot of it, and you're spreading on thick. <clears throat> How about it, Bill? Bill's been thinking over there. Jackman got the uh, what's Jackman got? He doesn't have an Oscar. He doesn't though. have. He doesn't I don't have think he's Oscar. ever been nominated for anything. Well, I think he's, I know. I think he's a awesome Tony. movies, don't dude. Because he's he. I mean, he's a Broadway dude. That's no, what I he's know. really. Yeah, he's a Broadway guy. And, and I mean, for his uh, some... what is uh, the he has fangs on his hands? What are they? Uh, the yeah, claws. Yeah. Yeah, just like um, Edward Scissorhands. But, Depp. Yeah. That's such a creepy movie. But it's good. I like what it. What's you guys' like what you guys favorite? I just, you know, just like top two, top three. What are you guys' favorite horror movies? I was just thinking about that the other day because mm-hmm. uh, uh, one of mine was on The Howling. That's my second favorite. I haven't of all seen time. The Howling. That's yeah. it's probably 1980. 81, I've seen Halloween. There. Halloween's probably my number one favorite. The original. The original. The original. Uh, it's super good. Mine is probably um, the Kurt Russell. The Thing. The Thing. That's my number three. Is it? Yeah. I I'm, think Kurt Russell. And then uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, definitely. Just for one scene. Just yeah. for Just for one Which scene. One? Uh, Those when movies he's walking, are usually funny. When he's walking down the alley. Oh, yeah. And, he's, and his arms <clears throat> get longer and longer. And he yeah. ends up scraping the, the side of these garages as he's walking down the <laughs> yeah. alley. Yeah. That's unbelievable to me. Still have nightmares about now, that. Now, when that was really? coming out, no, uh, during the promos in 84, when that was coming out, that um, that was really scary, man. That was a sure. scary movie. Yeah, man. Now, now it's not with everything else. That yeah. seen, no, it's but, funny now. You yeah. watch those now. They're funny when they... But I got... Um, my first one is American Werewolf in London. That's number one. Yeah, that one is creepy. Then The Howling. That's good. That's yeah. a good one. The creepiest part about that movie to me is the what he's the dead guy and he's he's like constantly <laughs> yeah. decomposing yeah. throughout yeah. the movie. Yeah. Like the first time you see him and it's like you can all of his face yeah. is all ripped Jack. off and shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's but creepy. My favorite man. scene from that though is not like a horror scene. It's when they when they're out on the moors and they go into that pub. Oh, absolutely. The, 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 they're, they're still they haven't been killed or anything yeah. yet. Yeah. They just go into that. They step into that pub where all those people are at. And everybody's that is the real, best scene. All, yeah, yeah. All the people in there are real standoff, real quiet. Yeah. And um, they uh, they don't want to have anything to do with them. And then finally, uh, one of the uh, the guys that's sitting there, one of the English guys, he cracks a joke at him, and then they all start getting you know getting happy and back to what they were doing before. It gets louder in the bar. Then all of a sudden, Jack just out of nowhere, hey, what's that five-pointed star on the wall for? And then that was it. One of the guys throwing darts, hit the. uh, he missed the board. Yeah. And he says, I've never missed that board before. And then they run him off. Yeah. And uh, just be attacked. That's my number one. And uh, the howling number two. And John Carpenter's The Thing is my number three. Yeah. But I was just thinking about that. But... uh, I remember when I saw The Howling the first time. Boy, that's a creepy one. But that's got, you know, just almost as good of effects in it as uh, American Werewolf in London. It's good. Those are good ones. Mm. The, ones the ones I certainly will not see. I won't see anything with clowns. <clears throat> I won't watch any movie with it, a clown. Man. 
<laughs> nope. Yeah. We got to watch Clown. It's coming out. I don't know. It nope. might already be out. Yeah, I don't it's care. It's called Clown. Yeah, good. Awesome. <laughs> It looks awesome. It does. Enjoy he he like hides out in basements and stuff, <laughs> lures little kids down there, and fifty year old men. Oh, uh, come on, man! Jim and Kramer, <laughs> Fred and Clowns. We had better make a move on emails. Mm. You guys want to hear some emails? I would love to hear some emails. As usual, I pulled out the three best emails for the week, and we're going to go in no particular order. First email. Comes from Brits Count. You haven't talked about Bob the Rooster in a long time. I wanted to talk about Bob. <laughs> Is he still alive, or did Corey get his chicken dinner? Um, I feel like uh, some people might be coming around to my way of thinking. Mm. From what you've been yeah. telling me. Yeah, I have a story. I have a Bob story from just this week. I think Bob's uh, reaching his sexual peak. Something's happening. It's gotta have. It's gotta have something to do with the spring. Yeah, and that's him what I'm saying. protecting it's the girls peak, or whatever. Man. He's trying to. He trying to sex me up. Well, no, I think he's trying to fight you off from sex and his ladies up. You know Wait a I mean? minute, you better look at me again. Look at me again. Is he trying to sex me up? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But I I came home uh, one day to an empty nest. Everybody was out at school and such, and I decided I was going to feed the. The chicken, so I take a big scoop of chicken feed out, and they're all back there by their coop, just kind of hanging out. Mm -hmm. I go back there and see that Hannah or someone had already fed the chickens, so because there's a big pile of food still yeah. in the coop. So I'm like, oh, they don't need this. I'm going back in. I turn around to step back, and there's Bob, like blocking my way, standing between me and the house. I'm like, move, Bob. And he just like doesn't move, and he t does that thing where he looks at me out of the side of his eye, you know, that one, one eye. eye. Yeah. Like yeah, he gives me the horse eye, as I call it. <laughs> yeah, he's just standing there looking at me out of one eye, and I'm like, what? And he does, man. He flaps <laughs> <laughs> right up, right in, in like up toward my face. What? And I push him away. I'm like, you idiot! And I set that food down on the ground, and we're in a, a full on fight. I'm in a full on. Mono and mono fight with a flipping chicken, uh, man. He this is a real life me. family what? guy. He he comes at me and I the, kick him. Yeah. I kicked him. And I know I kicked him 20 yards. He comes back. You tell me chicken chickens can't fly? You're a liar. Oh, I know. They can absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can absolutely. <laughs> it's not a long way. They can't fly from right. here to Chicago. Yeah. But, he can auto rotate. Yeah, he can. <laughs> so, so he comes flapping at me again, and I give. And now this time he is clearly preparing for the kick. And I see him w take his little legs and just kind of wrap them around mine really Whoa. fast as as I'm kicking. Yeah, like he's going to hold on for the ride. <laughs> and I feel a stabbing pain, man. Oh yeah. And he he he. What he did is spur me. They call it spur. They got those little spurs on the on the inside of their oh little chicken gosh. legs. Yeah. He spurred me through my pants. I was wearing khakis at the time. You I was looking shanked, pretty dapper. Bro. Yeah, you got shanked by a chicken. I did. I did. He stabbed right right through the. Yeah, and you said, and, and, and I oh my gosh, I kicked him forty yards that time. But he still after I kicked him. You know, because because you kick him and he just flaps his wings and he just kind of flies and lands. It doesn't. I you gotta didn't kick him, kick him, him like a football. You gotta kick him in the. Throat. I didn't. I wasn't aiming at anything other than chicken. Okay, <laughs> that's your problem. So bam, so I kick. Bam. I kicked him and and he lands and he just like walks away like yeah. There's more of that if you come back here. Mm -hmm. No. There's I'm not. like, you've got to be kidding That's me. where you take the 12-gauge out Yeah, and have yourself a nice tell you roasted what, chicken dinner. I thought about it. I it, it there won't be another time. Mark and if he does it to one of the kids, yeah. I mean, he's done. Well, I heard he's that fun. he already chased one of them. Yeah. Well, it's, it's pretty regular. Now, we have a bob stick by the door. That's yeah. no joke. We have a, a in stick this, in, in, that we carry. This motherfucker <laughs> told me that Bob didn't kill a ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> he's, tra he's taking on human beings. Why does Bob not He's evolving. He's evolving. Bob First will be taking all. down deer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going to notice a dead dog outside yeah. of your door I'm one day. Walk out there to feed and him. then Bob's just going to be licking his little claw thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His like, sperm. Or standing on top of him, like pulling veins out of the dog's <laughs> neck, <laughs> looking at me. Yeah. Pecking it. As, yeah. Yeah. Keep, yeah. keep feeding me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm only getting I'm, stronger. I'm only, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bob's going to die oh, soon. Oh, man. I'm gonna cap him from deep. Our next email. That's why I went to training this weekend. Is, <laughs> you, think, you think it was just for firearms? 
<laughs> and uh, no, nah. no, how to assassinate a chicken. <laughs> Take groups yeah. on by. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming half MOA on that dude's head, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have the rest of the chickens, though. Don't worry. <laughs> Just Bobby's got to be taken down a pig. Oh, man. What's his role? What's Bob's role? He protects the uh, the girls, the oh, chickens. Okay. Well, He's like a pimp. He's yeah. like a feathered pimp. Yeah, you can't have, like, or two two roosters, man, especially this time of year. Yeah. Because they, you know, they're all they're thinking about is doing they. He's doing hell of a job. As long as I keep getting my eggs, she probably hang on yeah. to Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next email, Bombay three eighteen says, "I'm a hot Indian girl, mm-hmm. and I have recently found your program." Mm. And she spells program p r o g r a m m e. How cute is that? Program. That is so sweet. I love jokes and laughter. I have two jokes you may like. And she gave, us, she gave us two jokes from India, from Bombay, India. Bombay. That's it. What do you call an Indian dating site? I don't know. Connect the dots. Oh, come on. What? Oh, what? No. <laughs> yeah, it's real. This is real. Oh. Look. I see that it's real. It's on paper. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, her second joke is, what's the difference between a Catholic wife and a Hindu wife? What's that? A Catholic wife has real orgasms and fake jewelry. Boom. Oh, I see. <laughs> Boom. That's a thinker, isn't it? It is. I, I'm going to read that one yeah. again because I'm not sure I got that. <laughs> okay, what's the difference between a Catholic wife and a Hindu wife? A Catholic wife has real orgasms and fake jewelry. Conversely, mm-hmm. okay. All right. All those arranged marriages, huh? I got that one. You guys stop laughing. The audience wants to hear the Those were hilarious. Uh, What's her name? Bombay? (laughs) Uh, Bombay 318. But here's how she spelled it. (laughs) Bomb as in, you know, boom as in Uh, bomb. Okay, so she's, all right. Bombay. We've been marked for terrorizers. Come on, bomb is in the the name, bro? No, she's a Bombay. B-A-E. B-A-E. She's a hot bay. That bombs people? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just disappointed because you wasn't Cherokee. <laughs> no. A dot Indian, not an arrow Indian. I got you. This is a Randy- heavily racist show today. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. Um, Randy Deal says, you guys always talk about your lack of knowledge when it comes to technology, yet you produce such a great show. Have you ever been embarrassed on social media? I'm embarrassed for this guy because he's clearly <laughs> deaf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A great show. You know. It's a phenomenal show. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, you know what? I do have, this email reminded me, I do have, uh, it's not funny. It's not a funny story, but, well, but this whole great. show has I'll been be funny. The, I'll be yeah. the judge of that. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's great for a comedy <laughs> podcast. How dare it, you? Bring it on. To, to throw it right out there that it's not funny. Mm, let's get those numbers but listen, up. In, in, the, <laughs> in the early days of email, Mm-hmm. Like we're talking 1990s when all this stuff started. Wow, uh, That's yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> I yeah, I got I got my first com- computer and and all that stuff. Bill, I think you remember when I got my first computer. I was all excited about it. Oh, I do. Yeah, you because one of the guys from the work had to set it up for me and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. So and these yeah, things. I mean, right. this is when this is when your computer came in a refrigerator box. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, the big yeah, yeah. tube screen and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I was I got on I got on the online. As you kids call it, mm-hmm. and I pretended to know what all the the acronyms meant. Oh yeah, like today you have the you know you guys know these. Just to shout them out. WTF? Yeah. What? Why the face? L M A O. Uh laughing me arse off. Mm-hmm. L O L. That's laughing out loud. Mm-hmm. R O F. Uh, Ralph. Oh fuck. <laughs> Roll, rolling on floor. Nobody uses R-O-F. that. No. BRB. BRB. That's uh, bring ribs back with you when you come back. (laughs) The McRib. Bring that McRib. Yeah. Yeah. But this is this is actually. I'm I'm so embarrassed to tell this. But since I've already been racist and oh yeah, oh, yeah. we might as well just keep piling it terrorism on on another country. Yeah, I might as well pile on, as you say. I had I had a, a, a a friend and. Her mother died. Okay, yeah. this is the absolute true story. Her mother died, and I emailed, you know, because mm. I was that's cool. what you do. 
Well, back then, that's what you just started doing, you know, because yeah. pen and paper, like, no, man, I'm, I'm cool. You know, I am Steve Jobs. So I get on my, and Bill Gates wrapped into one. I get on my new computer and I'm emailing this person because they live out of state. And it, and it, it starts out as fun. And and then she tells me that, uh, uh, that, that her mother had passed away. Okay. Yeah. So this is. The, the, this is the, the uh, email that I sent her. Oh, I'm man. ready. Yep. Jesus. I was so sorry to hear about the sudden death of your mother. Please let me know if there is anything I can do. LOL. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why yeah. I put LOL because I swear Lots to all, love. I swear to all that is holy, I thought it meant lots of love. Oh, when it first started, because I saw other people doing it. Sure, you did. Because people were, would would send you me always a, need to people ask. would send me an email, and it and it would and it would say you know LOL at the end, and I thought, oh well, what a nice thing they're saying, lots of love, like lots of love to you. <laughs> so Terrific. I thought I was trying to be the cool guy and use an acronym. You were being the cool. And guy. I was like, yeah. When I first started, your, your discover- mom died. LOL. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, a true story. Uh, so yes, there there has been. Some yeah, see, I was a nerd when I started doing that. Like somebody mm-hmm. somebody put on uh, LOL like in one of those chat conversations, and I was like, mm-hmm. "What does that mean?" Because I didn't know. So yeah. then I explained it. Now you, on the other hand, you just assume. Yeah. And well, then you're I was like, you know what? Cool. <laughs> Your mom just died. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I was trying Being to rude. be cool. Though. I, trying, I know. I wanted to sound like I knew what I was doing. Like I was, you know, yeah, you're I'm the guy to... on the cutting edge, you know. I'm, I'm up to date on all this information. Yeah, I've got all this stuff. Yeah, because Forget at that time, I mean, I thought I was, you know, late. Late twenties, maybe early thirties. So yeah. already starting to get in that, you know, yeah. people calling you sir age, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and all. So I was trying to, you know, take a few years off and be the cool guy. And then yeah. you lost a friend. Yeah, because I'm sure that's the last email. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have have to her. in that conversation. I have, I have since. I have. I. I. Yeah. You explain a couple that. years yeah. of silence. It's still nobody's laughing about it. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, we are. Well, yeah, nobody's laughing about that anymore. We are right now. And unfortunately, fellas, we got to do what the kids call a wrap oh, on this biatch because we wrap, are wrap we that are glove at that like, hour like Ruslan. You need to wrap up because you don't know what you don't <laughs> oh, know what you're man, getting. Where from that. that's been? Yeah, that, <laughs> that's that kid's nice. gonna end up diseased. Probably. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing though. You knock out a lot of things in that month. <laughs> if, I'm probably the first time, clearly, a that you've month. ever touched a woman, uh, and a his first month. STD. A lot of that's a big that's a big month. You know 16 I mean? years old, a month with a beautiful woman who knows her way around. I'm going to bet money he doesn't close the deal. I, there's no way of knowing that. He'll never tell anybody that. Oh, uh, in a month? I know. In a month he Come on, bro. the deal? He is 16 years old, and he <sighs> was buying gear, <laughs> guns and gear for a video game. <laughs> that dude... Has only seen boobs on on a screen, okay? Uh, For sure. Unless he got flashed by one of the girls in his class. I don't know. Congratulations, Ruslan. Yeah, man. You did it, buddy. Good for you. You did it. You hit it. We're all Be polite. You might get lucky. Be be polite. You might get lucky. You're going to get lucky, period. Throw a couple rubles on that. Be present. That's all you got to do. Just watch things. Contact information. Website. Point nineteen productions dot com email point nineteen productions at gmail dot com. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter at B Team One Nine, or also on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Stitcher. We just wrapped up. We got things official, uh, so the T shirts will be out mm. on sale soon. Mm-hmm. Look for those, especially if you need a good work tee, like a painting tee. Yeah, just give us give ours a buy. Yeah. You know, they they'll they'll take paint just as well as any other Hanes. Out there. A day at the beach or a day at the opera. You can wear one of our tees. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no... Why dress up? You're going to get kicked team team. out yeah, of the sure. opera. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah they're not going to let you yeah. in. We want to thank comedian <clears throat> Bill G for stopping by today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks and, a lot, guys. And uh, if any of the listeners are in the New Jersey area, Bill will be performing at the local 7-Eleven. Yeah, I sure Jersey. will. Uh, 
It's 174 Elmora Avenue in Elizabeth, New Jersey. <laughs> I'll be back by the roller dogs. <laughs> Maybe. If I want to be. The toes. Do they, <laughs> do they still have 7 Elevens? Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they're they're huge. Nice. Yeah, they're is, still trucking, baby. This is uh, store number 39230. <laughs> <laughs> you got all their stats. Yeah. And you oh, guys got to give people uh, the info. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you got to be there. But uh, if anybody wants to get a hold of me, uh, Twitter at one Bill G. It's not at Bill G. That's another person. This is at number one Bill G. Boop. That's it for me. All right. And all I ask you to do is love somebody. Mm-hmm.